multiple images is a special property of plane mirrors. That is, if you incline to plane mirrors at a certain angle, you will observe a certain number of images in the mirror. And the variation in the angle between the mirrors will vary the number of images. To grasp the idea of multiple images, you need to know the formula for calculating the number of images. That is, n is equal to 360 over theta minus 1. Here, the value 360 over theta is the total number of images including the object, and minus 1 is to exclude the object. So n will give you the value of number of reflections in the mirror and the object is not included. That is the real idea of this property explained by the following. Starting the explanation with two mirrors inclined at 120 degree and an object between them. That is, if theta is equal to 120 degree, then the formula will give the answer n is equal to 2. Now you can see that the value 360 over theta gives the answer 3, that is the total number of images including the object. And the value of n is 2, that is the number of reflection in the mirror and the object is not included. From 120 degree, start decreasing the angle between the both mirrors. With the change of angle between both mirrors, there is partial imaging at the common junction of both mirrors. And after the partial imaging, there is a complete composite image and the angle is 90 degree. So the formula gives the answer with theta is equal to 90 degree then n is equal to 3. And 3 is the number of reflections in the mirror excluding the object. Further change in angle will again give you partial imaging and at certain angles there will be 5 complete images and that certain angle is 72 degree. So justified by the formula, theta is equal to 72 degree, then n is equal to 4. On further decrease of angle, there will be further partial imaging and then a complete composite image. Total images are 6 and the formula will give the number of reflections excluding the object that is 5. So the process continues with the change of angle that is changing the value of n. And before a complete image, there is partial imaging. Now, to mention a special case, that is, if mirrors are placed parallel to each other, they give infinite number of images. Here are some conclusions to be highlighted, and they are, number one, Partial imaging on angling the mirrors shows that at every value of theta, there is a certain value of n, either even or odd. It would be fractional at partial imaging and whole number at complete imaging. Number 2. Integral values of n. If the value of n is an odd number, then there will be a composite image at the common junction of both mirrors. And if the value of n is an even number, then there will be equal number of images in both mirrors. Number 3. In case of parallel arrangement, there are infinite number of images formed, but we can see only a finite number of images. This is because of the partial absorption of light after every reflection. Number 4. The change in the position of either the eye or the object changes the position of reflection in the mirrors. But the number of reflections is the same. Number is only depending upon the angle of inclination.